Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Bioshock 2. I'm as eager to start a playthrough of Bioshock Infinite as you probably are to watch one, but we need, well, I need, to finish the project I'm in the middle of before I advance to a new one. Now, you may justifiably be wondering why it has been so, so very long since my last video in this playthrough. The reason is really twofold. There have been some profound technical difficulties, although I'm ashamed of how simple the solution turned out to be, and there was a two and a half week overseas trip to Italy with my wife for my law school spring break. I was having incredible trouble getting a video to record properly, and then I realized that I wasn't using the latest version of Fraps. The, I didn't get the usual email alerting me to the presence of an update, but there was in fact an update available, and installing that update has seems to have solved the problem. So let's load up the save here at the beginning of Inner Persephone and get back to it. Now, there's lots left to do in this game. This is the final level of the base single-player campaign, but we still have multiplayer achievements and DLC, so it'll be a good long while before we're ready to call this game finished, at least according to my standards, but this is a good start. Now, I've also been having some issues with the game crashing here at the beginning, so I'm going to try to give it a little time and hope that... Upstairs, father. Quickly. And hope I don't get another crash. New goal, head to the docking platform. You have been reunited with Eleanor Lamb, but your body and Rapture are falling apart around you. Sinclair is missing. Follow Eleanor upstairs to try and find out what has happened to him. And that message was Eleanor. Upstairs. Over here, we have an Eve Hypo in the crate, $7.16.50 caliber rounds. In the ashtray, spear ammo, vitamins, $3.00, cigarettes. A useless Vita Chamber, a first aid kit, double O buck. Let's head upstairs. North Detention Wing. Docking platform, therapy, infirmary, holding. Behind these walls lies perfection. I did notice while I was gone that... My YouTube channel is growing. I got a lot of new subscribers over the past two and a half weeks, so welcome to all of you. It's a pleasure to finally upload a new video. And I've grown by another measure, too. I have finally started attracting trolls. I feel like that's a, a big milestone for anyone doing anything on the internet. So welcome to you, too. Feel free to continue saying that I am the worst gamer you have ever seen. It just, it warms my heart to know that I'm worth trolling. Now, one question that's been asked is why I bother reading all of the text. Well, there are a few reasons. It helps me with pacing. It helps me to sort of catch my breath between encounters to really slow down the story sections. It, it's also for my sake to an extent in that it makes sure I really scrounge around and find all of the details that the level designers and game designers have built in, but it's also, to a smaller extent, admittedly, for some of the viewers. I know that if you're able to view it in high def, you can read all of the text yourself, but some people still have slow internet connections and can't watch high def video streams, and so for them, the text just looks blurry, and I feel like reading it means everyone who watches, no matter what resolution they're in, can understand everything that's going on. But I admit that's the lesser part of the rationale. It's more for my own edification in terms of pacing and really not missing anything. So let's head upstairs. Main docking platform. This is Sinclair's lifeboat, Father. Out the window here. It's our only chance of escape. From what I know of Sinclair, he wouldn't just abandon it. That is... Eleanor, the lifeboat. Yes, Delta. What of Sinclair, the man who would sell paradise? And where is he now? 
That one is Lamb, he who would sell paradise. Warning. A security curfew is now in effect. All cells and bulkheads are sealed until further notice. This facility hangs over an ocean trench delta. The family has activated timed charges within its foundations. Surrender before detonation, or we shall fall and be crushed in the abyss below. That one is Lamb. Surrender. Mother has locked all of Persephone down, including the gangway leading to the lifeboat. We can reverse it from the holding wing if we hurry. Come on! And Eleanor to the holding wing. Do I have a new goal yet? No. There it is. Use the plasmid if you need me, Father. I'm going to have a look around. Alright. That message was, Eleanor, call me if you need me. And we have a new goal. Get to the holding wing. Eleanor has discovered Sinclair's escape vessel moored off of the docking platform in the Persephone penal facility. However, Sophia Lamb has locked down the entire facility and is determined that you will all die together. The controls to override the security curfew are located in the holding wing. Find a way inside the holding wing so you can open access to Sinclair's lifeboat. <laughs> Beautiful. Two dollars can fruit double O buck. Let's explore the ground level here first. Nine dollars twenty five drill fuel Eve hypo. A frag grenade fifty caliber rounds. If I remember right, there's nothing back here except another Vita chamber. So let's head upstairs. The therapy wing is locked down. Oh no, there's a Circus of Values vending machine here in the corner. I almost missed. There's a first aid kit. As usual, I'm going to quick save before I hack. Potted meat. Well, that's a pretty piss poor free item, but I guess it's better than nothing. Here is a health station I also need to hack. Now with that done, let's get out the remote hack darts. You can already see the turret over there. Over here is a gene bank and a bot shutdown panel. I guess we need to come up from this side. Let's get it before we aggro any splicers. Get both of the blue zones. That's good. Are you kidding? The save game glitch already. Well, I guess I need to get back to this point. And we're back. My apologies for the save game glitch. This is an emergency. Subject Delta has escaped. Eleanor Lamb has turned on her own people. Stand and fight, or the Rapture family falls together. Now, that turret's pretty burly. I think it can take out almost everybody all on its own. We'll wait to see the truth or lack thereof. He thinks he can walk all over me. Potato chips and four dollars. Let's refill our Eve with the Fountain of Youth. The docking tunnel is locked down. Therapy wing is locked down. Let's hack this ammo bandito.
Gave me some drill fuel, not bad. What we head over here, our turret is nearly destroyed. Let's just repair him with some Eve. Let's refill that Eve again. For free. Seems to be the wise way to go about things. Alright, now let's search bodies. The infirmary wing is also locked down. Here's a brute, an elite brute splicer, 850 caliber rounds, $19 and a rocket spear. Tommy gun, 550 caliber rounds, lead head splicer, canned beans and three rivets. Over here, some double O buck. Over here, another bot shutdown panel. A crate with $8, two double O buck and fresh water. And there, more drill fuel. And here, the game's final gatherer's garden. So let's buy the last health upgrade. The last Eve upgrade. I'm gonna spend my remaining 200 atom on Winter Blast 2. Freeze your foes in a solid ice block. New and improved. Keep your foes on ice for even longer. Press and hold right mouse to charge up a freezing ice block. Freeze enemies for longer. Charge up and put them on ice. Warning, colds are catching. And because it's the only one I can afford that's on my plasma belt right now, Telekinesis 2. Stronger telekinesis allows you to throw harder for more damage. New and improved. Throw objects with more force. Turn the world into your weapon. Think bigger. Throw objects at higher speed for more damage. Alright, that is it. Now let's look through here. Uh, new goal. Oh, well, we've already done that. And we've already done those. There will just be two new plasmid descriptions, I think. There shouldn't be anything else. No. So, plasmid descriptions. Telekinesis 2. The Telekinesis 2 plasmid allows you to throw objects with even greater force for increased damage. Press and hold right mouse to pull objects toward you. Keep right mouse held to hold on to the object. Release right mouse to throw the object with great force. Releasing right mouse halfway will move the object in front of your reticle, allowing you to use it as a shield. You can also drop a held object by pressing R at any time. Telekinesis can be used as a weapon when you are low on ammo. Heavier objects, such as a cash register, can be extremely devastating. Held objects can be picked up or searched, so it is also useful for grabbing hard-to-reach items. And Winter Blast 2. Should have everything else. Yes. The Winter Blast 2 plasmid adds the ability to charge up a more powerful blast which will encase enemies in a solid ice block. Press right mouse to fire a normal Winter Blast. Press and hold right mouse to charge up an ice block and release right mouse once it is fully charged to fire it off. Enemies frozen in an ice block are frozen for longer periods of time and leave behind loot when shattered in the form of a lockbox. An ice block will also send out freezing shards when shattered which will freeze any enemy that they hit. Ice blocks can also be affected by strong physical forces, such as Telekinesis 2 or Rocket Spears. Cool. Alright, now here's the entrance to the holding wing. Let me update the saves and pause the recording to avoid desync. And back to work. Let's head into holding. I don't know what my problem is. Inmate processing. Wait to be called. Disorderly conduct will be dealt with harshly. Over here we've got money and a remote hack dart. Canned fruit and four dollars. Two rivets, Dr. Holcroft's cure-all, and four dollars. Empty mail tube. Two remote hack darts, two spear ammo, and four rivets. And let's remote hack the door. 
Uh, they made this one easy. Probably because it's mandatory. New goal, override the security curfew. Hack successful. Result of successful hack, secured door is now unlocked. Eleanor has discovered Sinclair's lifeboat moored off of the docking platform in the Persephone Penal Facility. However, Sophia Lamb has locked down the entire facility and is determined that you will all die together. The controls to override the security curfew are in the holding wing. Now that you've reached the holding wing, you need to find the curfew override controls in the security tower. It's pretty straightforward. Oh yeah, we're dying. We have to get you out of Rapture, Father. It's the only way I can save you now. That message was, Eleanor, we must get you out. Cell block, South Quad. Inmate checkpoint. Have personal blue files ready for examination. Please keep both hands visible while unrestrained. Remain behind painted line. Lamb knows the way. Security checkpoint B. There's a first aid kit. Let's head in here. Prisoner admittance button. Let's not do that just yet. Double O buck, Dr. Holcroft's cure-all. Ten dollars, frag grenade, potted meat, a gene bank, an Eve hypo. If I head through here... Oh, I'm back here. This is familiar. Over here we've got an auto-hack dart, Old Tom Whiskey. First aid kit, coffee and three dollars, canned fruit, solid slug, money, rocket spear ammo, and more whiskey, a diary, out with the old. Looks like Sinclair's been asked He wasn't slick enough to avoid the boot this time. But at least it wasn't a firing squad. Lamb proved she's got the ear of the general population down here. So it'd probably be prudent to play along for a while. See where this goes. She says she'll let me keep my little fiefdom here in holding. As long as I agree to help supply her therapy sessions. <laughs> no qualms there. These sorry buggers could use some rehabilitation. Three remote hack darts and three dollars in the desk, and a safe I'll need to hack. This is always tough. Thirty dollars, five frag grenades, fifty-nine dollars, and thirty-six armor piercing rounds. Great success. Oh yeah, now let's hit that prisoner admittance button. Beginning admission sequence. Don't you recognize Sinclair, Delta? Now he is what you should have been. One final Alpha series, ready to die for the family. As Persephone's former owner, he is the ideal man to put you back in your cage. That message is... Lamb, role model. Mother's controlling Sinclair father, and he's got the master key! Catch him! That is Eleanor. Catch him! New goal, get the key from Sinclair. Lamb has converted Sinclair into an Alpha series under her control and given him the key to override the security curfew. Without the key, you can't board Sinclair's lifeboat and leave Rapture with Eleanor. He is trying to escape from you through the holding wing and you will need to chase him down to get the key. He probably won't go quietly, so expect resistance along the way. Kid, Lamb's in my head. I, I can't help myself. I have to fight just to talk. Left me my goddamn tongue to torture the bomb codes out of me. She wants me to stop you leaving. I... I'm sorry. That message is Sinclair, sorry. Security checkpoint. All inmates must be searched thoroughly. 
All contraband strictly prohibited. Well, before we head into, I guess, the holding wing proper, let's update the saves and pause to avoid audio desync. And we're back. The lamb will lead the way. If we head over here, we find six dollars and seven rivets. And... El Amo Bandito! Let's hack it and see what we can find. Anti-personnel rounds. Not bad. Not great either, but oh well. We will be reborn, cell block south quad. Bot shutdown panel. Eight dollars and seven rivets. Now, I hear a security camera. Cafeteria. We will be reborn. Lamb will lead the way. Vita chamber's no good. Docking platform. Absolutely no fighting. Oh. Let's see if the camera can handle these splicers for me. Hello? Not quite, not quite. Close, but no cigar. Go on. There we go. Oh, that's not working out quite how I wanted. Maybe I should remote hack the camera instead. Crud. Fight fair, you bully! Strike! Make it go! There we go. That was awesome. Two double O buck, twenty-three dollars, rocket spear ammo. Oh, where's my water? Oh no. This water doesn't count. That's okay, there's Health and Eve everywhere, really. Cafeteria. Pop up cola, cream filled cake. Canned beans. Fine gin. Corpse has red ribbon brandy, fine gin, and moonbeam absinthe. Here's a diary. The definition of despair. This place is the absolute definition of despair. Here we are, locked away from the outside world, suspended over a pit with no hope of release. And what's our charge? Ryan has no room for differences of opinion in his precious rapture. I hope the whole place comes crashing down around his ears. We got two beers under the table, two beers and a vodka on the table. Tate Merlot, cream-filled cake. We 
we will be reborn. And here's a circus of values, which naturally I'll want to hack. First aid kit. Cool. The people's child is coming. There's another first aid kit. Well, let's just head through here. Spear ammo, sardines, three dollars. Who's that? There's a brute. Thanks, he's a hard man. Awesome. Three double O buck, twenty three dollars, rocket spear ammo. Let's go back here and nab that first aid kit. Head back down the stairs. Uh, let's think about a different weapon now. Let's do the shotgun for a bit since our rivet gun is so low on ammo. Proximity mine, potato chips, double O buck, another proximity mine. Fresh water and sardines, canned fruit and canned beans, lots and suns. Over here, not much of anything. Eleanor, I know you can hear me. I am inside Sinclair's lifeboat now. Delta cannot reach me here, but you can. You need not die with him. We... we shall return to the surface together, if you will only step inside and accept your duty. That message was, Lamb, come back, Eleanor. Remember, Eleanor, Mummy loves you. Ah, uh, yes. Mother's testing me. One last game. Fortunately, by now, I'm the world's foremost expert at breaking her rules. That one is Eleanor, Mother's Game. I've made my choice, Father. And if needs be, I'll die for it. Prisoner. Dr. Holcroft's cure-all and one shotgun shell. Not bad, let's keep going. There goes Sinclair. Canned fruit, double O buck on that body. Six drill fuel, three dollars. A mini turret. Double O buck, money, money, fine gin. That's all well and good, but Hallelujah. eight dollars, thirty drill fuel, potato chips. Let's get up here and deal with this guy. Six fifty caliber rounds, and nothing. Five fifty caliber rounds and two dollars. Anything else down here before we follow Sinclair upstairs? Laundry personnel. Uniforms and towels are property of fail-safe industries. Only clothing is to be placed in washing machines. Up 
here. We have showers and cell block north quad. We've just come from the laundry room. Cell block north quad and the showers. Now this all looks new. Before we before we deal with this area, let's update the saves and pause to avoid audio desync. I'm hopeful that this will stop happening when the Bioshock and Bioshock 2 playthroughs are concluded, but we never know. And back to work! Let's do the shower first. Got another prisoner. Bandages. Six dollars, twenty-three drill fuel, fresh water. Oh good. This counts as standing in water. That's nice. Coffee there. Wait for my health to fill up. Fountain of Youth is such a ridiculous gene tonic. It's so good. Alright. Keep hands within personal space at all times. Alright, let's head into the cell block north quad. There's a gene bank. Solitary confinement. New goal, defeat Sinclair. Kid, I'm sorry. I've, I've locked you in here. Lamb's making me dance on her goddamn strings. I can't stop. You're gonna have to break in here and put me down. Wish there was another way, but I'd rather die a man than live like this. New goal, defeat Sinclair. Against his will, Sinclair has led you into a trap. You are now locked in Persephone's holding wing. He has the key to release the security curfew, keeping you from boarding his escape vessel and leaving Rapture with Eleanor. Sinclair has locked himself in the security tower in the middle of the holding wing. What little is left of his human self wants you to find a way in or flush him out to deal with him directly. That message was Sinclair, rather die a man. God, he's right, Father. Mother's betting you'll die in here, or that I'll abandon you before the bombs detonate. We can't save Sinclair now. We need that key from him. That message was Eleanor. Find the code or draw him out. Find the code to the watchtower, or work out a way to draw him out. Alright, well, let's hack this Circus of Values vending machine. Oh, come on. There we go. Solid slug. Alright, solitary confinement that way. Cell block south quad that way. There's a bot shut down. Lie down when shots are fired. Let's see. Block D. Block C. Okay, we can go back there to whatever that is. Up here we've got a bathroom, a health station, which I'll go ahead and hack. I'd tell you the code to that, that keypad, if I could. It's like lambs put walls up in my head, but, but the prisoners here might have walked out the number. Check the cells. Oh, please, hurry. It hurts to keep singing out without say-so. And I'm starting to forget the words. Alright, Sinclair's there in the security tower. Find the key code. Against his will, Sinclair has led you into a trap. You are now locked in Persephone's holding wing. He has the key to release the security curfew, keeping you from boarding his escape vessel and leaving Rapture with Eleanor. Sinclair has locked himself in the security tower in the middle of the holding wing. One way to break into the security tower is to use the keypad on the front door. You will need to find the proper key code by looking around the holding facility. And that message was Sinclair. Check the cells for the code. Sinclair, don't leave me like this. Son, I built this place and I, I did wrench you out to those plasma trials up at Fontaine. And now, now I'm paying for it. Wish I had time to make amends. Take the lifeboat, it, it's all yours. Just don't leave me like this. Sure thing, boss. Let's hack this health station. Whoa. 
Now one, there are lots of ways to get in there. You can, we can go hunt down the code. Another good way is, um, somewhere there's a hole in the wall. We can fire a remote hack dart through it and hack the door controls. Turrets on our side now, that's much better. Not worthy of the lamb. Let's kill that guy. I like a much better dead. Two double O buck and some money. Now it's not too tough to uh get in there, but it's advisable to explore the entire holding wing before we confront Sinclair, so. Let's update the saves, pause to avoid desync, and then start systematically exploring this place we're trapped in. And back to work. Let's start out downstairs. Let's hit solitary confinement. Quiet! No talking beyond this point. There's a Vita chamber here. Always means something's gonna go down. Free will. Delta. Eleanor's gift to you. And with each decision, you twisted her into your own image. Sinclair has no such choice. Yet in its absence, he serves the world unerringly. That message is Lamb, Twisted Sentience. He is now the better man. <laughs> Looks like. Well, I don't know if I can get down and search that corpse or not. It doesn't look like it. Well, I guess we'll just keep going down, down then. We'll let this water recharge us. It's always a good thing. There's a symbol there. I'm sure that means that's something special, like. Where we need to go. Ah, a gene tonic. Elemental vampire. New tonic, elemental vampire. Sometimes you want more than to just watch your enemies burn alive. Sometimes you want to steal their precious life force, too. Elemental vampire makes that possible. Give and you shall receive. Your level 3 elemental streams siphon off health from your enemies. That's pretty cool, but I'm happy with what I've got. Looks like we got Houdini splicers. I thought I bagged that one. He certainly got zapped. Now I'm all turned around. I guess it doesn't make any real difference. There they are. It's two dead. Eve hypo, five dollars in sardines. Let's go down here and recharge again. When you, when you do me in, kid, don't blame yourself. I won't be able to stop from trying to gun you down, but it helps to know that you'll stick it to lamb after, and, and let young Eleanor see the sun. All right, that message was... Sinclair, don't blame yourself. Hell, I can't find the one I zapped. Doesn't matter much. Let's stick with the ground floor for now and go check out the south quad. There's a security camera in here. What's going on? A plague upon you. Attack that. Kill that guy. 750 caliber rounds. Absolutely no fighting. I guess we've already seen that. Lights out at 8 o'clock. Remember. If your cell isn't dark by 8, punishment won't be late. Rivets. 
Maintenance tunnel. Yes, I remember. That could get you near enough to lure me out. Try it, kid. Hurry. New goal, find the maintenance tunnel. Pay toilets, maintenance tunnel, tower, north-south. So that message was Sinclair Maintenance Tunnel, and the goal, find the maintenance tunnel. Against his will, Sinclair has led you into a trap. You are now locked in Persephone's holding wing. He has the key to release the security curfew, keeping you from boarding his escape vessel and leaving Rapture with Eleanor. Sinclair has locked himself in the security tower in the middle of the holding wing. It looks like there is a secret tunnel in the pay bathroom that leads to the back of the security tower. You can probably use this to flush Sinclair out of hiding. Over here we've got bandages and a hop-up cola. Let's stick with normal rivets for now. Nothing on that prisoner. Corpse, two dollars. A remote hack dart. Two frag grenades, bandages, and a diary. Last two digits. I caught a glimpse of the warden entering the code to the tower today. Last two digits were seven and three. Didn't catch the rest. Maybe I can just figure it out. Trial and error. Wonder how long that'd take. Do you not see, Delta? You were a thing of beauty when first we met. Non-conscious, yet utterly vital to your city. The flaw was only in your master's intent. It is an error we have corrected in Sinclair. He is bonded to the entire family. Good. Good, son. That's half the code. Now find the rest. Alright, our goal changed and we got two messages. The messages were, Lamb, innocence regained, and Sinclair find the other half of the code. Our new goal is find the first half of the code. Against his will, Sinclair has led you into a trap. You are now locked in Persephone's holding wing. He has the key to release the security curfew, keeping you from boarding his escape vessel and leaving Rapture with Eleanor. Sinclair has locked himself in the security tower in the middle of the holding wing. One way to break into the security tower is to use the keypad on the front door. You will need to find the proper key code by looking around the holding facility. The last two digits of the key code are 73. Find the other half to gain access security tower. That's fine. I'm gonna let my health refill down here. Almost there. And good. All right, let's head upstairs now. Let me look over here, see if I can buy rivets out of this thing. I can! Hooray. Let's head upstairs now. And before we start exploring, picking out directions, I'm going to update the saves and pause to avoid desync. And back to work. Let's do block D first. I already hacked that turret, that's good. Four dollars. Behind the turret, the corpse has a frag grenade. The crate has seven dollars, spear ammo, and coffee, and there's a diary. A trade. Hey, Murphy. It's Dodge. A little birdie told me you found out the warden's code. Send a message to my cell in Block A, telling me where you hid the code, and I'll consider your debts paid. We will be reborn. There's another cell over here. We've got 
an auto hack dart, anti personnel rounds, seven dollars, two double O buck, and potted meat in the crate, and another diary. First two digits. The wardens ignored my warnings for far too long. I'm taking this into my own hands. I secured a hack tool to nullify his turrets and subvert the bots. I also figured out the code. It's two, six, a push. That's the full code, kid. You've done it now. Now just come on in here and, and put me down easy. All right, that message is Sinclair, you've got the code. We now have use the key code to break in. Against his will, Sinclair has led you into a trap. You are now locked in Persephone's holding wing. He has the key to release the security curfew, keeping you from boarding his escape vessel and leaving Rapture with Eleanor. Sinclair has locked himself in the security tower in the middle of the holding wing. You have found the key code. Enter the code 2673 into the keypad to enter the security tower and deal with Sinclair. We will, but we're gonna finish exploring first. Let's check out Block C. Over here we have bandages, a cream-filled cake, cigarettes, 21 drill fuel, and fresh water. The corpse has $11 spear ammo and potted meat. Ah, that was the Houdini splicer. Yikes. Well, we dealt with her pretty well. Scotch on the ground. What's through here? Double O buck. Cream filled cake, three dollars, and a diary. No more hope left. It's time to leave this place. I held out hope for months that I'd see my family again, but it seems like this rope is my only ticket to freedom. I'm sure Ryan has seized the bookstore. No telling where Gloria and Billy will have to live. Can't seem to form a complete thought anymore. Can't sleep with that glow coming in the windows. Things out there watching us. Maybe I'll get to sleep now. There's some money over here under the bed. In here, there's a corpse with 550 caliber rounds, a cream filled cake, and three dollars. Imago is upon us. And in here, we've got three rivets, potato chips, the code 2673 written on the wall. And a new tonic, Elemental Sponge. Don't let being set on fire ruin your day. With the Elemental Sponge tonic, you'll get a little bonus when your foes use the elements. When you are damaged by elemental attacks, you gain a small amount of Eve. Cool, but no thanks. Let's head back out here now. Wind our way around. And let's see what's through this door. Well, I hear a brute splicer somewhere. I'm gonna go ahead and hack this vending machine. El ammo bandito. I'm gonna try to do a little bit better job than that. So close. <laughs> Not close at all. I always start screwing up when I get impatient with the hacks. <sighs> Take a moment to zone in. Much better. Alright, what do we get? Trap spear ammo. That's not bad. Now before we explore the rest of this joint, I'm going to update the saves and pause to avoid desync.
Ah, the save game glitch! Well, it'll be an easy fix since the main save worked. I will be right back. This must be dealt with. Victory! And we're back to work. Let's check this place out. Block B, well, we access through the hole. Bad betting keeping you up? Premium accommodations available from your Sinclair Solutions catalog. Failsafe Industries. I'm the genuine article. Ah, there are the door controls we can hack to get into the security tower. Uh, let's not do that. Let's check out Block A instead. I haven't, done, I haven't used these in a while. It seems silly now that I think about it. Be oh, that was an elite brute splicer. Because they're very effective against him. Now he's got three double O buck, $23, and 39 drill fuel. Got a first aid kit right there. That's nice. Heat seeking rocket, heat seeking rocket, drill fuel. Corpse has eight dollars, a frag grenade, and a cream-filled cake. In here, we have cigarettes, a heat-seeking rocket, rivets. And... I know I'm missing something. There's an audio diary in one of these rooms. Must have missed it in here. There it is. A generous offer. Gee, Mr. Dodge, that's quite a generous offer. I hit the code in the community bathroom, in the tank of the last toilet on the left. I also stashed some other loot there for a rainy day. It's all yours. Good luck using the code. All right, let's go check out the community bathroom. It's five dollars. That's kind of the last th place we still need to explore. We got armor-piercing rounds. Gonna have to use incinerate to get through here. That's fine and dandy. You're in the tunnel. I ought to give you some kind of jump on me. I hope. Mini turret, four dollars, sardines, double O buck, and a remote hack dart. Well, we can see Sinclair through there, but I think I missed something inside the bathroom. Last tank on the left. There we go. Fifty-five dollars, first aid kit. Tate Merlot, security tower code 2673. You did it, kid. Now, come find me. I'm sorry we gotta say our, our farewells like this. Alright, those messages were Sinclair in the tunnel. Sinclair, come find me. And, okay. Goals haven't really changed, but. Let me see, that's decoy 3. I'll tell you what, I want to head back down to solitary and prepare for this. Oh, never mind, there's an Eve hypo right there. I want my two elite security bots. Perfect. Decoy, and I want to summon Eleanor, too, but... Before I make up my mind about how to actually take down Sinclair, since we have fully explored, let's update the saves and pause to avoid desync. And back to work. I almost forgot. Let's summon Eleanor. Let's 
get the RPG out. Frag grenade should be fine. And let's enter the code. 2673. Sinclair is moving, Father. Track him down. We need that key. Got it. <coughs> so long, kid. Thank you. That wasn't bad at all. Sinclair is dead, Father. I'm so sorry. I don't know if you were close. When you're ready, take the key. Where's the first aid kit? Wondered where it had bounced off to. Anyway, let's search his launcher first. He's got one frag grenade. Let's look at all the messages and goals we had. Track down Sinclair. Against his will, Sinclair has led you into a trap. You are now locked in Persephone's holding wing. He has the key to release the security curfew, which is keeping you from boarding his escape vessel and leaving Rapture with Eleanor. The way to Sinclair is open now, so you will just need to find him, dead or alive, and get the security key from him. Eleanor, track him down. Sinclair, goodbye. And Eleanor, sympathy. Okay, we got an Eve hypo on the ground. Scotch. Inside the desk, we have seven drill fuel and four dollars. A disabled security bot. Well, let's hack it, why not? Oops. Scoops! Dollars. Potato chips, four dollars. There's a first aid kit. That'll do. A diary. Magic sauce. Lamb's attention seems to have drifted from my prisoners to her daughter. Guess she figures they're irredeemable. Now I got guys clamoring for the next fix of Adam. And I've got to pull teeth to squeeze any out of the good doctor. Guess I'm lucky her treatments get them too weak to storm the tower. Or they'd have my guts for garters. If we head over here, sardines in the ashtray, nothing too awesome. Eleanor needs to get out of my way. Now back here, we have a mail tube with $11, two double O buck, and bandages. On the ground, we have two boxes of armor-piercing rounds. We've got scotch in the lockbox, $11 in spear ammo. In the desk, double O buck, hop-up cola, and $2.00. And here on my right, the 13th Power to the People weapon upgrade station. Only one more left to find. What do I want? Let's get the machine gun damage increase. One more of those to find. Okay, Eleanor has disappeared. That's fine. Let's quick save now. Search Sinclair's body. That was actually not very hard. Sinclair's key. Now, Father, I'm afraid that ending the lockdown means releasing all the prisoners. So please, be ready before you use that key on the override switch. I'd like to repair scoops if I can. It won't, doesn't seem like it's gonna let me. All right, well. I think that means we got another tough fight coming up. So let's go ahead and summon everybody again. Now, let's see, that message was Eleanor be ready to fight and our new goal is use Sinclair's key in the tower. You have gotten the key from Sinclair. You can use it to end the security curfew so you can access the vessel and escape to the surface. The only catch is that overriding the security curfew will have the unpleasant side effect of releasing all the prisoners in the holding wing. Use Sinclair's key at the control panel in the security tower, but be on guard. Well, naturally. Let's do it. Override engaged. Ending security curfew. Security office temporarily. 
Looks like most of them are Alpha series. Sinclair died a hero of the Rapture family, Delta. Was he a friend to you, or just a tool? Can you even grasp the difference? And Eleanor, you have chosen Subject Delta over your mother, your people, and the duty of your birth. So be it. You believe this craft will carry Delta to safety, like a spoilt child with a new toy. I have no choice but to take it away. Alright, our messages now are... Lamb, the wrong choice. No gold yet. Curfew lifted. All cell blocks open. All bulkhead seals released. Oh no. Mother's turned her attention to the lifeboat. We must go there, now! Alright, message now is Eleanor, return to the lifeboat, and our goal is return to the docking platform. With Sophia Lamb's security curfew lifted, Sinclair's escape vessel should be ready to head to the surface. Return to the docking platform in the middle of the facility to launch the ship. Alright, before I mess with all these alpha series, I'm going to update the saves and pause to avoid desync. All right, let's get to work. Where did all my summons go? Are they all gone? It is nice that Alpha series are vulnerable to headshots. Two double O buck, twenty dollars, and phosphorus buck. I want to check all the blocks where these cells have opened up. Come on. Eight dollars, seven rivets, and aspirin. That one was open. Six dollars, frag grenade, potato chips. This one was open. Alright, next, let's check block C. And by extension, I suppose, block B. This one's empty. Both of those were open. See, everything in block B was open. That's good. Let's go ahead and let our health refill. <laughs> There's another Alpha series. I'll go search him before I investigate block A. Machine gun. 10.50 caliber rounds and $17 on the body. I head over here to block A. Anything new? Doesn't look like it, although this Eve hypo is now useful, so we'll grab it. Alright, let's drop down here. I think a lot of these were open, but not all of them. And that one was open, I remember. This one wasn't. There's nothing new inside. This one wasn't. There's a first aid kit here. None of these were open. Let's take a good look inside. Let's make sure nobody wandered down to solitary. Okay. 
We're good. Let's head back then toward the docking platform. Peek into the showers. Head back through the laundry room. There's one. Got him. That's good. Twenty-two dollars, fifty caliber rounds, and a frag grenade. Those droplets won't cut it for Fountain of Youth, unfortunately. That's okay. We will just keep going. Every moment tears Eleanor further from me, Delta. Soon, this father obsession will end her. You have left me without want. Before you die, I will take all that you hold dear. Sinclair is just another body in your wake. That message was, Lamb, before you die. Oh, vitamins and two dollars, cream-filled cake and three dollars. Cool. Didn't know all those were options. Or searchable, rather. Let's keep right on going, back toward the cafeteria. There's a lead head. There's an alpha series. Potato chips, three rivets. 33 drill fuel, $17, and some armor piercing rounds. <laughs> 50 caliber rounds, double O buck. 33 drill fuel, $12, 15 armor piercing rounds, 11 50 caliber rounds, $23 heat seeking rockets. Well, that's all nice. I feel like a first aid kit is a good idea. And I'd also like to refill my Eve. Well, let's do that. And then let's do take the dollars off these guys before we leave. Cool. Back toward the docking platform. Father, use the plasmid. I can help. That's nice, but I don't really need it. Two double O buck, rocket spear ammo. Cream filled cake, four dollars. Oh yeah, that water doesn't work. That message was Eleanor, use the plasmid. Two spear ammo, six dollars in canned beans. And we're very nearly back now. Let's head through this tunnel. Oh, I forgot to look at the message. Eleanor, use the plasmid. Docking platform. I was afraid of this. Mother has bombed out the ballast compressors, Father. The lifeboat will be too heavy to launch. Unless... Let me think. That message was Eleanor Ballast. I think I can boil away the water and get the lifeboat to rise. But I can't generate that much heat alone. It's time to recruit the rest of Mother's little sisters. We're taking them with us. Head to the pediatric wards. Okay, that message was, Eleanor, recruit, and our new goal, find the pediatric ward in the therapy wing, 
Submersibles, like Sinclair's escape vessel, require their water ballast to be pumped out before they can surface. Lamb has sabotaged the ballast pumps, so the ship isn't going anywhere. Eleanor is powerful enough to heat the water to boiling, but she will need a large atom supply to power her abilities. There's a pediatric ward in the therapy wing that's still home to little sisters that Lamb was experimenting on. Find the pediatric ward in the therapy wing so they can help Eleanor. And find the pediatric ward in the infirmary wing. Submersibles, like Sinclair's escape vessel, require their water ballast to be pumped out before they can surface. Lamb has sabotaged the ballast pumps, so the ship isn't going anywhere. Eleanor is powerful enough to heat the water to boiling, but she will need a large atom supply to power her abilities. There's a pediatric ward in the infirmary wing, which houses little sisters that Lamb was experimenting on. Find the pediatric ward in the infirmary wing so they can help Eleanor. Let's do the therapy wing first. You have a multi-part goal. Press M and go to the goal tab to see all parts of the goal and switch which one is active. The arrow and map will guide you to your active goal. Oh, thank you for the heads up. Uh, I don't feel the need to pause just yet, but after all those alpha series, I do want to update the saves. Let's keep going now. Oh. I won't let her take you from me again, Father. Hold on! Yes, yeah, Stelta's dying. Can't forget that. Eleanor, I won't let her take you. Therapy. Therapy wing. Corpse. Two dollars. Some scotch. A first aid kit. Money. Mail tube, seven dollars, fourteen fifty caliber rounds, and a first aid kit. Cream filled cake and three dollars in the filing cabinet. Therapy patients, stay with your instructor. Orderlies are on duty at all times. Spear ammo, fresh water, three dollars. That way to the docking platform and infirmary wing. Potato chips here. That's oddly creepy. Let's check out this little side room. Eight dollars, two double O buck, and an Eve hypo. This is not a sermon. I will offer no insight. Every word I speak, you already know. Gene Bank. We will be reborn, a little sister vent, 50 caliber rounds. In this crate we've got seven dollars and two spear ammo, bot shutdown panel, recreational therapy. Mother's people are starting to detonate the charges. We don't have long. Intensive therapy. And that message was Eleanor, we don't have long. Well no shit. Let's look over here. We got hop up cola, sardines, a heat seeking rocket, trap spear ammo. Let's check out recreational therapy. There's a Houdini in here. What's going on? Corpse. Five fifty caliber rounds, two dollars. This lead head, two dollars, canned fruit, ten drill fuel, seven dollars in canned beans. Right here we've got rivets and a piano. Cigarettes. Canned fruit and three dollars in the ashtray. Over here, this corpse. A diary. Six drill fuel, four dollars, and the diary is legs, mouths, arms, and eyes. With this damn faulty memory of mine, I need to record a clue so I don't forget the key code. Brown legs, red mouths, blue arms, green eyes. Now to secure this log somewhere. Ugh. Brown legs, red mouths, blue arms, green eyes. Okay. 
four. Brown legs. Blue arms. I'm gonna go with four. No, yeah, four. I need to listen to that again. With this oh. damn faulty memory of mine, I need to record a clue so I don't forget the key code. Brown legs. Four. Red mouths. One. Blue arms. Green eyes. Four six. Now to secure this log somewhere. Uh. Canned fruit. Canned fruit. Fresh water. Yeah, I'm going with four one four six. That leadhead splicer, cream filled cake, and double O buck. Alright. I'm going with 4146. Boom! Got it. Glorious. First aid kit, Eve hypo, drill fuel, rocket spear ammo, auto hack dart, phosphorus buck. My and father was a physician. He raised me not to echo him, but to model the world as it ought to be. I was to teach a simple moral calculus. Each choice as though the world must bear it. Each life or death for the common good. He called it the triage imperative and would laugh without smiling. Let's quick save and hack this safe. Oh goodness. Well, this is just all sorts of failure so far. Come on, Travis, you can do this. <laughs> Better be something good in here. There must be, must be something beyond. Oh, that blue one would have ended it. Oh well. There we go. $111, six heat-seeking rockets, and six proximity mines. Yes, I would say that's worth it. Especially the explosives. Alright. Now seems like a good time to update the saves and pause to avoid desync. to work! It's hit intensive therapy. Nine dollars, twenty drill fuel, Eve hypo. Another Eve hypo. I really thought I had the headshot on that guy. Well, this is just awful. I really felt like I had the headshot on him. Utopia. Said aloud, it evokes heaven on earth. Yet the word means both good place and no place. An idea unreachable. Even in the naming of it, we refuse Pop up to cola, believe. five drill fuel, four dollars. And yet, now let's hack this camera. Seek utopia, driven always to want more, no matter how much we have. There we go. It is among the grandest of human ironies that our very drive to find utopia has kept us from abiding there. Warning, no unauthorized use of equipment, no contact with inmates, no loose clothing or long hair.
three fifty caliber rounds, two double O buck, and an Eve hypo. Alright, I guess we're done in intensive therapy now, so let's head down this hallway. But first, got a health station to hack. Always more hacking to do. Until suddenly, we'll finally reach the end and there won't be. Let's check out these little rooms. Think this one's I empty. Will smile and act as such. Congratulations. You have just experienced the illusion of free will. Now think... We're almost to the pediatric ward. I expect we'll be fighting our way inside. The illusion. That message is Eleanor near the ward. Begins to break down. Your genes have no objection to an empty smile. But anger to the gene is part of the program. I submit the following conclusion. The Mini gene turret is the enemy. Double O buck. Dr. Holcroft's cure-all, Eve hypo, first aid kit. Vitamins and two dollars in that ashtray. Pediatric ward and administration offices over here. There's a Vita chamber. Eight dollars, twenty-four drill fuel and bandages in the mail tube. And a Circus of Values machine to hack. Let's get the hack over with. A hop up cola. Let's turn right here. What was that? Oh, just a board, I guess. Ah, a diary. Destructive learning. Hello, mother. As you've always said, I shouldn't be allowed to wander the city in my condition. But without going outside, it's harder to hear much about the world, so I'm learning at home. This, I think, is our porcelain tea service in the style of Louis XV. Isn't that right? Now, that's a fascinating sound. And this is called a stained glass window, handcrafted by your adoring flock. They've gone to a lot of trouble to capture your likeness, haven't they? Is the greater I missed the diary in here. There it is. A simple question. In the majority, we must Name. The where, where am I? Must be Name. Not what the fuck did you do with my wife? Name. Let me out of this chair! Alright, let's head this way. I'll leave the pediatric ward for last, but let's do search the corpses. Four rivets and sardines, 50 caliber rounds. Double O buck, El Amo Bandito for hacking. Frag grenade, that's useful. $10, seven rivets and potted meat. There's the pediatric ward. Let's check out these little side rooms. Eve Hypo, remote hack dart. Corpse in the bathtub. I can't seem to search it though. Head toward the administration offices. And what do we have in here? 50 caliber rounds and two rivets. Alright, before the admin offices, I'm gonna update the saves and pause to avoid desync. And back to work. The administration offices. Spear ammo, two dollars. Spear ammo, canned fruit, three dollars. Let's 
stick with the floor we're on for now. $7.30 drill fuel canned beans. A door control. Yeah, we're gonna auto-hack that. Because that was ridiculous. Hack successful. Result of successful hack. Secured door is now unlocked. The precious level floor. I know. There's an alpha series. What the hell? Something I couldn't see down there, I guess. Let's go through this little door on the right first. Pop up cola. Four rivets. Nine dollars, thirteen anti-personnel rounds, and a first aid kit in the mail tube. Two proximity mines, three coffees. In the desk, we had money, Dr. Holcroft's cure-all, and five fifty caliber rounds. And here, a diary. Oh, sorry, fresh water and four dollars. And the diary, sacrifices. Things aren't so rosy for Lamb's little collective farm down here, no matter how much influence she's got with the inmates. She keeps feeding Ryan more and more of her people for the Big Daddy program in order to keep the rest of her flock alive. I think she's getting desperate. I ought to have Weir double the orderlies on all the major junctions. Alright, let's check this room now. Canned fruit, anti-personnel rounds, armor-piercing rounds, auto-hack dart, phosphorus buck, auto-hack dart, auto-hack dart, rocket spear ammo, armor-piercing rounds. Lots of ammo. Good stuff, really. Now let's quick save before we try once more to tangle with all those bad guys down there. Well, that went significantly better. Remote hack dart, Tommy gun, an Eve hypo. Let's just allow the Fountain of Youth to take care of us. Hack Dart, Eve Hypo, Leadhead's got 650 caliber rounds and two dollars, the desk, four rivets and a cream filled cake, under the desk, phosphorus buck and an auto hack dart. The Alpha series has a frag grenade, 1850 caliber rounds, 17 dollars and a heat seeking rocket, 11 drill fuel and a pep bar, potato chips and four dollars. Double O Buck and fresh water. Canned beans. Lamb will lead the way. Blah, blah, blah. Spear ammo, cream filled cake, $3. Spear ammo, 450 caliber rounds, and $3. $10, two Double O Buck. Spear ammo, $4. Three rivets, fresh water. Potted meat, $4. $9, frag grenade, cream filled cake. $10, five heavy rivet, first aid kit. $9, bandages. $6, first aid kit. $6, 25 drill fuel, first aid kit. And this last desk, Numo. This mail system installed for Rapture's 10th anniversary celebration by Ryan Industries, granting the gift of communication to the people of Rapture. Double O buck, first aid kit, and a diary, a stratagem for Sinclair. Need I remind you, Sinclair, that 
Lamb is your problem now. She's no longer a citizen of Rapture. That was the proviso. You wanted her expertise, and now you have it. Ryan Industries is your client, and we require test candidates from among your charges. The protectors are short. Lamb would be a messiah, correct? Well, sell her a sacrifice to save the flock. All right, before we tackle the pediatric ward, let's update the saves and pause to avoid desync. And back to work. Goal completed. New goal, secure the pediatric ward in the therapy wing. When you've cleared them out, I'll need a signal. Push the call button on the window there, and then I'll proceed. Okay, so that message is Eleanor, push the call button. We also had Eleanor near the ward. The new goal is secure the pediatric ward in the therapy wing. Eleanor needs help to boil the escape vessel's ballast. She can only get it from little sisters held in the pediatric wards. Lamb has placed the pediatric ward in the therapy wing under heavy guard. You will need to eliminate the opposition so that she can get inside the isolation chamber. Once it's clear, Eleanor can recruit the little sisters to help. Fought 15 50 caliber rounds, $19 in phosphorus buck. Seven dollars, potato chips. Another Houdini someplace. Two remote hack darts, six ribbon. Oh, and a brute. Damn, that's a hell of a fight. Five rivets, eighteen dollars, phosphorus buck, the Alpha series. New goal, signal Eleanor in the therapy's pediatric ward. First aid kit, twenty-six dollars. Eighteen dollars, phosphorus buck. Alright. No messages. Signal Eleanor in the Therapy Pediatric Ward. You have cleared out resistance from the Pediatric Ward in the Therapy Wing. Eleanor can now teleport in and get what she needs from the Little Sisters secured there. Eleanor needs a signal that the coast is clear. Go use the call button on the glass of the isolation chamber and she'll take care of the rest. That's all well and good, but I'd like to finish refilling and then I'm sure there's an Eve hypo someplace. In fact, I'm pretty sure there's one in the supply closet right behind this desk. Awesome. Okay. Now, these corpses were all here already. I thought there was still someone alive in here. I knew I hadn't killed the last Houdini. Fresh water, 650 caliber rounds. There's the last Houdini. Seven dollars. 
corpse has two remote hack darts and nine dollars. That Houdini has two spear ammo and canned beans. There's an Eve hypo in the window here. Eight dollars spear ammo, Eve hypo. Over here we have Eve hypo and a first aid kit. Beer. Ah, the turret. <laughs> Oops. Should have quick saved. I think I might have just undone everything. Yes, yes I did. Well that sucked. When you've cleared them out, I'll need a signal. Push the call button on the window there, and then I'll proceed. Well, that was abysmally stupid. Where are they? And let's quick save before we try. It just seems much wiser, doesn't it? There we go. Okay then. I'm gonna backtrack a little bit and collect goodies. Like this first aid kit. This Eve hypo and first aid kit. All right, let's explore this room now. After a quick save. All right. We searched the Elite Brute Splicer already. Same with the Houdini. Is there anyone I haven't searched? Doesn't look like it. And let's do the middle room now. 28 drill fuel, 17 dollars heat seeking rocket, 3 dollars, 3 rivets. That's the call button I'm supposed to hit. Do that in just a minute. Let's check this room out first. First aid kit, bandages, a heat seeking rocket, and a health station. Naturally, I need to hack it. <laughs> Damn it.
There we go. Over here, what do we have? Nothing, just beer and a turret. Doesn't seem to be a way to get up top where some of those enemies were hiding, so let's hit the call button. Goal completed, so I'll wake the children up. They're stronger than they know. With their help, I should be able to boil off the water and get us all out of here. That message was, Eleanor, I'll wake the children. There was also Eleanor, push the call button. Go on ahead, father. I'll free them as quickly as I can, just as you showed me. That message is, Eleanor, I will free the children. stick around and watch her do it. I think we're supposed to get Adam for this. Can I go in here yet? No. There we go. Plus 50 Adam. Not bad. Not that I have any use for it anymore, but... Alright, let's head back out. Someone has spawned in. There she is. Good night. That was... Harder than it should have been, but I didn't waste any ammo, at least. You are not saving them, Delta. No matter how pure your intent. The surface is not paradise, but perdition. I would sooner see them drown. There we have Lamb, the surface. Let me just check and make sure I'm not missing any tool tips here at the end. Doesn't look like it. This is not a sermon. I will offer no insight. Every word I speak, you already know. Look, Father, I know you may not have wanted a daughter, but love is just a chemical. We give it meaning by choice. I will be damned if I let Mother take you away from me again. That message is, Eleanor loves meaning. Alright, we are headed to the infirmary wing now. The Plasmid Father, just point the way and I'll help you fight. This Alpha Series, seven rivets, twenty-two dollars. Let's hack this security bot. Thoroughgood. I like that name. And let's head for the infirmary wing. Seven dollars, pet bar, double O buck. Infirmary. Now, before I proceed, I'm going to update the saves and pause to avoid desync. And back to work! There's another Houdini. I hate it when it does that. That's bullshit. I hit him before he disappeared. And it just let him go. Oh well. 
That's another charge gone. We have to keep moving. If this building falls, we're all dead. That message is Eleanor, another charge. Yeah, 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 I hear ya. Tired of waiting for treatment? Ask about our preferred patient program. Alright, let's just head through here. Nice work, Thoroughgood. Pet bar, three rivets. There's a security camera over there. Quarantine area. Potato chips, eight drill fuel, three dollars. Let's hack the camera now. Aw, oh, crud! Forgot to quick save before the hack. Oh well, this way I'll... I'll save that at least. That's another charge gone. We have to keep moving. If this building falls, we're all dead. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. Docking platform, therapy wing, pharmacy. Here, let me hack the camera before I get too comfortable exploring this room. There we go. Okay. Seven drill fuel. Pharmacy on the left. Quarantine area on the right. 650 caliber rounds, two dollars. Aspirin. Canned beans, four rivets, two dollars. 450 caliber rounds, four dollars. Two rivets, fresh water, three dollars. Ward A, 750 caliber rounds, canned fruit, $3, fresh water, $3, canned fruit. Dr. Holcroft's cure-all. Couple more things to hack, a health station and a vending machine. Come on. Crud! No matter. There we go. And the Circus of Values. Same deal. Well, the game crashed for reasons unknown, but we're back. Let's try hacking this. First aid kit, not bad. Let's head over here toward Ward A. Seems to be the only thing that's open anyway. Pharmacy. First aid kit, double O buck. Here's a turret. Which I didn't expect, but caught in time. It's always good. Uh, what's back here past the turret? Frag grenades, 22 drill fuel, $10 frag grenade potato chips, $8, 5 heavy rivets and bandages, nothing. Fresh water, 850 caliber rounds, and $3. Oh yeah, let's repair Thoroughgood. I forgot I can do that. Spear ammo and sardines. Alright, well, let's head down this hall. What do we have here? Eleanor. 
was to be a composite of all Rapture's genius. The first living utopian, serving the world at large with no regard for herself. To force consciousness on such a being is to tear its wings away. That was your gift to her, Delta. Just as she hoped. You must be very proud. That message was... Lamb, the first utopian. Now, I saw a splicer in here, but I can't seem to get to where he is. That's cool. Let's just check out these other unlabeled doors. 850 caliber rounds, four dollars. There's an Eve hypo, but I don't need it yet. A gene bank. Here on the left, we have double O buck, coffee, and three dollars. Drill fuel on the ground, and a diary. Such freedom. Delta was in top form today. The guards tried to make him take another dose of whatever the hell it is they're pumping into him, and he managed to take on all four of them at once. Snapping legs and arms, blood everywhere. They say one of the guys might not even wake up. I wish I could be that free. Alright, now here is Ward A. Before I actually head in there, I'm going to update the saves and pause to avoid desync. Back to work! Alright, Ward A. Potato chips, four dollars. Double O buck, two dollars. Sad prisoner. Nothing. Another prisoner. Nothing. Always weirds me out when I go through a whole room and nothing attacks. Nothing. Canned beans in the cabinet. Over here we've got whiskey, bandages, bandages, 50 caliber round, six dollars, two double O buck, and bandages, and nothing. Here's a big tunnel. Steady, father. Don't let go now. Thanks, Eleanor. That message was steady. I bet this guy's not dead. Oh, he is good. Four rivet, twenty-two dollars, two phosphorus buck. How about this one? Yes. Fifteen fifty caliber round, seventeen dollars in a proximity mine. Let's save before we head here into Ward B. Where is he? I promise to do no harm. Well, Thoroughgood found him, even if I could. There we go. Corpse, three dollars. This Houdini has nothing. Pain is no man's wage. There. Coffee, five drill fuel, three dollars. Cream filled cake. Six fifty caliber rounds, potted meat, and three dollars. Pediatric ward this way, seven fifty caliber rounds. Double O buck. We're behind this gate now. This is not a sermon. I will offer no insight. 750 Every caliber rounds and three dollars. You already know. Well, let's keep going. Quarantine area, surgery, pediatric ward. Houdini there. Fresh water and 450 caliber rounds. $10 frag grenade sardines. 
850 caliber rounds, five dollars, bandages. We will be reborn. First aid kit, eight dollars, 12 anti-personnel rounds, first aid kit, mini turret, three heat-seeking rockets. Let's head to the quarantine area first. Surgery in the pediatric ward are upstairs. Caution, biohazard area. Release. It's like an RPG turret. Lucky I hacked that first try. We got seven drill fuel. Here is a health station, which I will naturally want to hack. Spear ammo, potted meat. Eight dollars twenty-six drill fuel. Eight dollars two spear ammo. First aid kit. Another first aid kit. A door release. That's another path back out to the main room. Just pop through here. Here is the game's. Final power to the people station. 14 out of 14. I'm going to take the machine gun recoil reduction. Achievement unlocked. All weapon upgrades. Money on the counter. $7, two trap spears and bandages in the mail tube. Uh, before anything else, let's just quickly pull up the achievement list. Bioshock 2, that's 34 of 68 achievements, all weapon upgrades. Found every power to the people weapon upgrade in the game. There are 14, that was the last one. Over here we've got an Eve Hypo in the desk, $4. Over here we've got double O buck, 12 drill fuel, $2 in the fridge. Double O buck, potted meat, $2. Double O buck, $2. Bandages, coffee. And a diary. My prison. Guess I had the wrong of it when it came to Dr. Lamb. She explained how my cravings for control were robbed me out from the inside. We found all these incidents in my log where I made it easy for a convict to get the jump on me. Just so I could bloody punish him. Christ. But I believe I can do some good down here now. With the family. Well... We have a shot at surviving that fucking bedlam going on up there. Maybe even take the city back. Ah, Alpha Series. Great. We got him. We're good. Search them, 29 drill fuel, $22. Six rivet, $25. 13 armor piercing rounds. Nothing. There's an Eve hypo back in this room. Thought there was another first aid kit someplace. That doesn't matter much. Four rivets, $5. What does matter to me, and what I do want, is to restock my rivets. Oh, but I can't do that here. What do you know? Alright. Let's search the other cell here in the quarantine area. Two rivets, sardines, money, auto-hack dart, and phosphorus buck. Alright. Let's quick save and head upstairs. Our alpha series. Surgery. Machine gun. Five rivets, $19. Proximity mine. Mask required beyond this point. Every eye for the Wii. Surgery is over here. 11 drill fuel, fresh water. 
Double O Buck, four dollars. Potato chips, three dollars. Let's heal up right quick. Sounds like there's a security camera back there. And it looks like it's stationary, so. Let's quick save and then hack it as fast as we can. Damn. Did not get that off fast enough. Okay, let's do it. There we go. Much better. Onward then. Eight dollars, two double O buck. There's a Houdini and another security camera. Let's hack the camera. Not bad. Rivets, double O buck. Six fifty caliber rounds, potted meat, potato chips, three dollars. Ah. It's like I've been ambushed. Rivet. Fresh water, three rivets, three dollars. Where is that Houdini? There we go. Gotta get that headshot, that's key. Fifteen fifty caliber rounds and bandages. Four double a buck. Alright, let's search the mail tube now. Eleven dollars, eight rivets and bandages, a diary. They feel pain. Now, one of the girls managed to dart past the nurse today and throw herself over the railing in the lobby. Not certain if she was trying to end her own life or, or merely escape. But either way, her legs had healed by the time I managed to get down to the first floor where she lay. Now, without proper setting, the rapid healing process had fused her bones back together at odd angles. We had to re-break and set them almost a dozen times, each due to the small window of viability. Now, those children may be immortal, but I can verify they feel pain. Advising Dr. Lamb on higher doses of sedatives to keep this from happening again. Gnarly. Remote hack dart. Couple more bandages. And down here, there's a safe. Of course, we want to hack that. But you know what, though? I don't need any more money. Let's just auto hack it. Much better. Four solid slug, $56, 35 armor piercing rounds. We got the splicers. Two dollars and a first aid kit. Cream filled cake. Bot shutdown panel. Autopsy and pediatric ward. Nothing. She is daughter to us all. The people's child is coming. Let's hypnotize the brute. <laughs> Just me now. There you go. There we got him. Not bad. Here's a Vita chamber. 
And we are above the main room now. Beer, cigarettes, 450 caliber rounds and $4. 1150 caliber rounds, $23, two phosphorus buck, pediatric ward and autopsy. There's a lead head with fresh water. Here's a health station to hack. Crud. Too many hackable machines. I'm really hoping we're actually near the end. Well, we have a gene bank here. El Amo Bandito. We need to hack this too. And a circus of values. We need to hack that too. Uh. Crud. Uh. Oh my. Well, that was just failure. Perfect. Heavy rivets. And the Circus of Values. Aspirin. Okay. This one sells rivets and an Eve hypo. Perfect. Alright, let's go explore the autopsy wing. Actually, let's max out our health as well. I don't have anything else to do with the money. Uh, before I do this, let me update the saves and pause to avoid desync. Alrighty, let's check out the autopsy room. Seven dollars, six rivets, potato chips. Two dollars. A diary, alleviating pain. My first incarnation when Dr. Lamb gave me my mandate to alleviate pain was to block its neural pathways. Now, the preliminary results were promising too, until some of the children started chewing their own tongues off out of ignorance. Need to sequester them away from the others so as not to cause undue stress on the remaining subjects. Uh, just some corpses to search, heavy rivets, drill fuel, mini turret, rocket spear ammo. Attention personnel, fire danger. Use extreme caution when opening oven doors. And we have an Eve hypo in there. Let's head into the pediatric ward now. I think we're going to have a very similar experience to the other one. We're nearing another pediatric ward. It will be guarded, Father. Get ready. Thanks, Eleanor. That message, Eleanor, get ready for a fight. Let's check out all these. This is a quiet area. Keep noise to a minimum. There's a Vita chamber in here. First aid kit, water, hop-up cola, and potato chips. Over here we have double O buck. There goes an alpha series. When you've cleared them out, I'll need a signal like before. Push the call button and I'll proceed. New message and new goal. Let's check them out. The message is Eleanor, push the call button when done. The goal is secure the pediatric ward in the infirmary wing. Eleanor needs help to boil off the escape vessel's ballast. She can only get it from little sisters held in the pediatric wards. Lamb has placed the pediatric ward in the infirmary wing under heavy guard. You will need to eliminate the opposition so that she can get inside the isolation chamber. Once it's clear, Eleanor can recruit the little sisters to help. Alright, well, let's start with this Alpha series. That was awesome. Oh, it's because I was using heavy rivets without knowing it. That's cool, though. Couple of Houdinis coming in behind me. 
26 drill fuel. Seven dollars. <laughs> That ought to be all of them. Alpha Series, six rivets, $23. Launcher, yep. New gold, Signal Eleanor in the Infirmary Pediatric. And fruit, three rivets. That was pretty easy, truth be told. Signal Eleanor in the Infirmary Pediatric Ward. You have cleared out resistance from the pediatric ward in the infirmary wing. Eleanor can now teleport in and get what she needs from the little sisters secured there. Eleanor needs a signal that the coast is clear. Go use the call button next to the door in the isolation area, and she'll take care of the rest. Awesome. Let's just head on into here, then. Five dollars in potato chips. The mail tube has eight dollars, five trap rivets, and a first aid kit. Not really anything over here, or up here, or along this side. There's a first aid kit here. There's the call button. There's a cabinet here. It's empty, though. There's a health station to hack. Oh, supply closet. Eve Hypo, first aid kit, bandages. Let's hack the health station. And let's hit the call button. I think... Yes! We're ready for the ballast tank. I can boil off the water and get us out of here. We must return to the docking platform, Father, now. Alright, that message is... Eleanor, return to the docking platform. New goal, return to the docking platform. Eleanor now has what she needs to boil off the ballast from Sinclair's escape vessel. Once she does this, the vessel should be able to get you all to the surface. Return to the docking platform so that Eleanor can start venting the ballast. Let's watch her free the sisters. We'll get one last hit of Adam, and I'll try to find something to spend it on when we get back to the Gatherer's Yard. I really do have everything I want, but... Might as well spend it. Shouldn't just leave it sitting there. Yep, 50 more Adam. Six rivets, $25, and a heat-seeking rocket. Bad. You granted Eleanor the will to choose. And now, like a plague, she spreads it to those innocents. To be self-aware is a curse, Delta. You are damning them. One more splicer. That message from Lamb was Lamb self-awareness. Head back to the docking platform. Potted meat, six drill fuel. And here's the docking platform. Let me update the saves and pause to avoid desync before we head back out there. I think we're at the end of the game. One last big fight and then some cutscenes. And it'll be time to pursue the multiplayer achievements! Yahoo! Alright. Yeah, this is going to be the last fight, so... Let me go ahead and summon a couple of bots to be my friends. Lay down some mini turrets down around here.
Get this ready. Now let's just see. Cyclone Trap 2. Why not? New and improved. To get creative with your defenses, charge up your cyclone traps with a variety of plasmid powers. Charge up your traps with plasmids for a variety of effects. Oops. I did not mean to use a first aid kit, but it's not really going to hurt. That'll get us one last little tool tip. Plasmid descriptions. Cyclone Trap 2. The Cyclone Trap 2 plasmid adds the ability to charge your standard traps with almost any other plasmid, leading to a variety of different effects when triggered. Pl press right mouse to place a trap on the ground. The trap will be placed in the location of the green reticle. Switch to another plasmid and fire it at the trap using right mouse or approach the trap and press E. The trap will be charged with this secondary effect. Charged traps release their power when triggered by a nearby enemy. For example, a trap charged with incinerate will explode in flames, while a trap charged with telekinesis will suspend an enemy in the air for a short time. Experiment with all your plasmids for a variety of effects. Well, that's fun. Let's just hop down here. Seven rivets, seventeen dollars. I'm stepping inside the ballast tank, Father. Come up to the glass once you're ready for me to begin. There's no going back once we start. That message is... let... oh. Didn't show up. That's fine. Alright. Bust a move, Eleanor. You would rip my only daughter from her home and family, and feed her to a world without hope. This one shows up. Lamb, goodbye, Eleanor. Though Utopia may die with her, I would sooner see us fall. Goodbye, Eleanor. Mother will be waiting for you. Here they come, Father! Hold them off until I can bring it to a boil. New goal, survive Lamb's final assault. It's not showing up, that's fine. I'm just gonna sit here and be invisible for a minute. Let my turrets and my bots handle these clowns. Summon Eleanor. So it's a good time to quick save, if you ask me.
ballast water is gone. Release the docking mechanism. All right, that message is... Eleanor, oh, I can help you now, and Eleanor, release the docking mechanism. Throw the vessel release lever. Sinclair's escape vessel is ready to take off. Throw the release lever to begin the ascent. The release lever is located directly across from the escape vessel itself on the second floor. Where's that? Docking tunnel? Ah, no, it's up here. Oh, that's Eleanor. Thought that was an enemy. On the shotter. Docking clamp release. The elevator to the lifeboat is flooded, Father. We have to equalize the pressure in here or the door won't open. That message. Eleanor, destroy the tubes. New goal. Flood the docking platform. Zero of two. The ship is ready to go, but the room with the escape elevator has filled with water. You won't be able to access the elevator in this state. You need to flood the docking platform and equalize the pressure so that the door will open. Look for cracked pipes that you can break open with your weapons. Pipes one out of two. Found the series. Deal with him first. Halfway there, but they're still Goal completed. Flood the docking platform. We, we've done it, Father. We're launching. Get to the elevator. New goal. Get to the elevator. The escape vessel is pulling away from its mooring. Now that the pressure has equalized, you can open the elevator that leads to the gangway. Get to the elevator before the escape vessel leaves you behind. The last messages were Eleanor, destroy the tubes, Eleanor, break the other one, and Eleanor, get to the elevator. Is that through here? Yes. Escape vessel. Goal completed, get to the elevator. The bombs, Father! We're falling! Run! And achievement unlocked, heading to the surface. That message was Eleanor, run! And that achievement... It's just a story achievement, but it's number 35 of 68. Heading to the surface. Headed to the surface on the side of Sinclair's escape pod. The dream was over. You taught me that evil is just a word. Under the skin, it's simple pain. For you, mercy was victory. You sacrificed. You endured. And when given the chance, you forgave. Always. Mother believed this world was irredeemable. But she was wrong, father. We are Utopia, you and I, and in forgiving, we left the door open for her. Your ending depends on your choices, obviously. You saw Eleanor save her mother just there. The rapture dream is over, but in waking, I am reborn. This world is not ready for me, yet here I am. It would be so easy to misjudge them. You are my conscience, father, and I need you to guide me. We just unlocked three achievements. Just left a lot 
watch this. Eleanor's draining Delta's Adam out of him. You will always be with me now, Father. Your memories, your drives. And when I need you, you'll be there on my shoulder, whispering. Utopia is not a place, but a people, then we must choose carefully, for the world is about to change. And in our story, Rapture was just the beginning. Alright, rolling credits. So the three achievements we unlocked were... That brings us to 38 of 68. The first was Escape. Escaped Rapture. Pretty straightforward. Next one was Against All Odds. Finished the game on the hardest difficulty level. And the last was Big Brass Balls. Finished the game without using Vita Chambers. This game was fun, but... I've already completed my first playthrough of Bioshock Infinite as I record this, and... <clears throat> you can just tell the difference when Irrational is and isn't in charge. Of course, we're not finished with this game, not by a long shot. There are multiplayer achievements to unlock, there are the Protector Trials DLC and Minerva's Den DLC to complete, and I think completionism certainly demands that we do so, so this is the end of the base single-player game, but not the end of Let's Play Bioshock 2. We did successfully unlock all of the achievements for the base single-player campaign. That's good, including all of the secret ones. And I guess we can just watch the credits and look at some concept art. I'm not about to click or skip anything. I feel compelled to apologize again. I think I did at the beginning, but here at the end, I'll apologize again for my extended absence. It's just a lot of things combined to put a huge gap between videos. There's my law school spring break, and it was bookended on either side by some serious technical difficulties. I'm happy to finally be back. I'm happy to say hello to many new subscribers that have accrued over the last month, despite a lack of content. I typically update a lot more regularly than this, and I will get back to that immediately now that all of the technical difficulties are solved and I have no plans to leave the country again. I think before I go the DLC route, I'll finish getting the achievements from the vanilla game, which means the next thing that I'll do is go for the multiplayer achievements for Vanilla Bioshock 2. This will be my first YouTube foray into any kind of multiplayer, and I'll warn you in advance, multiplayer is not my forte. I don't normally do it, but because there are achievements tied to it, I just... I can't leave them unfinished. I can't I can't leave it at 38 of 68. It has to has to say 100%. So we're going to go for it together. I'm hopeful that there are, I can still find people to play with too. Otherwise I could be in real trouble. Anyway, after the multiplayer achievements, we'll do the protector trials which 
are gratefully single player, although they're kind of irritating because they're just, you know, almost challenge maps more than anything else. I'll save Minerva's Den for last because Minerva's Den is a single player campaign, kind of like everything else, and I've heard really, really good things about it. People have said, not the main game, but the Minerva's Den DLC is as good as the original Bioshock. I've heard that more than once, and so I am looking forward to that. I'll save it for last, so that I can leave the game on a good note. My gosh, it takes a lot of people to make a game. Speaking of Irrational and Ken Levine, I have to say, that man is... I didn't quite realize this until I read that in addition to building System Shock 2, Bioshock, and now Bioshock Infinite, all of which were glorious games, Ken Levine's first job was at a company called Looking Glass Studios, where he along with Doug Church, basically created the universe for Thief the Dark Project. So I knew he was tied to System Shock 2 and that he... Well, tied to. I knew he made System Shock 2 in the Bioshock series, but I was unaware of his involvement in Thief, so he's connected to virtually all of my very favorite games. A lot of this wasn't used to look at the concept art. It's a pretty big voice cast. Damn. No names I recognize, though. I should probably be talking. <laughs> oh, I feel the I feel the need to kind of fill the dead air, but I've said most of what's left to be said since since this isn't actually the end of Let's Play Bioshock 2. There's a lot of content left in this game besides the base single player campaign. This is the second special thanks section. That's odd. Well, maybe this one, maybe this one will take. Special thanks is usually a good sign you're near the end. Oh yes, here we go. Havoc, Unreal Engine, Bink Video. Alright, end of the credits. Dedications. Oh boy. You know, it's too bad because I think I think this game would have been so much better if it hadn't been I think it would have left a better impression on me if it hadn't been so technically difficult just to get working like 
even playing it on hard. Spoiler alert, that was much easier than Bioshock Infinite on hard. Like, Ken Levine didn't pull any punches in Infinite. If you haven't played it, unqualified recommendation, but more on that when we get to that playthrough. Just, it's so hard to make it work. I think it's the Games for Windows Live integration that breaks it all the time. I know that's the source of the save game glitch we had so much. And... Uh, I'm inclined to blame it for the trouble I had with Fraps, too. But it just... I don't know. The novelty of Rapture had worn off. I think that was a big part of it, too. It was a good setting, but you need to do more different than that, I guess. You need to... The gameplay was actually better. There was just I don't know, something a little less compelling about the story. Maybe because it had been done before and they just decided to explore the polar opposite of Ryan's ideology. They went for altruism and the common good taken to the extreme instead of the Ayn Rand objectivist philosophy of Andrew Ryan. Oh, I think we're done. Are we done? Oh, it's loading something else. Ah, just the main menu. Yes, we are finished. Well, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Bioshock 2. One final apology for the delays. We finished the single player campaign, so next time we'll get started chasing after multiplayer achievements. Until then, Thank you all for watching, and welcome to all my new subscribers. Bye-bye.